Welcome to Calawegian Fly Fishing with Robert Smart. Now, here's Robert. Greetings. Now, in this video, my brother and I are going to try for some wild trout in Missouri. Uh, go below Lane Springs. It's mid-December, so there's going to be some serious challenges. The river is going to be real low and super clear. These are wild trout, not stocked, so they're going to be very, very spooky. Another problem we're run, going to run into is they're in full spawn right now. So a lot of fish will be on the beds, and they don't tend to feed when they're on the beds. And we don't want to disturb them when they're on the beds. So we won't be dragging streamers or something through the beds. We'll be just using dry flies. But that's going to take a significant population of fish away from the feeding that might occur. But anyway, we had to go because it's such great weather. And uh, give it a shot. So we caught some fish, and as you'll see, and I hope you enjoy the video. So here we go. Wild trout in Missouri. Okay. We're here at Lane Springs. We're at the top of the hill. They uh, got the road gated across, which is a pain. We got to walk way down this hill. Not too bad going, but after four or five hours of fishing, we're going to be dragging coming back up that hill. Anyway, it's uh, uh, low 40s, it's going to be overcast, I think it'll be a good day. So we're going to catch us some wild trout in Missouri. Yeah, this is all national forest land. Yeah. yeah. Told you it was steep. <laughs> and long. Well, this feels like it floods a lot. I don't know. I halfway doubt it. Um, because the stream don't go that far upstream from here. Oh, really? It's fed by a bunch of springs. Uh -huh. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe only a couple miles. And then it turns into just nothing almost. Oh yeah, it's low, big time. I don't see any hatches out yet. Oh, well, yeah, there's some stuff flying around. Oh yeah, always is. Well, why don't you head on down and lead the way and I'll follow. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go down below this rapids a little. You work this stretch here. Yeah. Ah, missed him. Came out of the water at it. Okay, something hitting the surface. Man, this water's cold. Feel it through my waders. Something hitting below me there. Ooh. Here I am daydreaming and I get a hit looking upstream. Damn it. Didn't even get it on film. Well, I'm going to have to change flies here pretty soon because I had a couple hits, but that was it. Switch to a caddis. 
and a Griffith gnat. See how that does. Pretty damn slow. I've had two hits and that was it. Seen a rising activity though. Yeah, I even tried a nymph. Uh, you bad. But uh they've been hitting the surface down here. Yeah, they've been hitting the surface all over and everything in sight. Uh yeah. They're I think they're real spooky. Missed him. Long casts. Long leaders. Ah! Darn, I can't afford to miss them. Hey, finally! Oh, lost him! Oh. Darn it! He was a decent one, too. Ah. Oh. Ah. That was a hit. There we go. Try not to lose him. That took a while. Oh, and he's hung up. Give me a break. There we go. Beautiful fish. Off you go. Well, that broke the skunk anyway. Bunch of them in there. Or at least a couple. They look like nice ones. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is one buster. But he was spooked, I think. Ooh, that was a strike. Oh, he got that was a big one. Oh. Man. Oh, he was a buster. Ah, missed him. He hit it on the drag. There we go. He's a nice one. Oh yeah, he's a real nice one. Let's try not to lose him. Get him on the reel.
Beautiful fish. Great colors on them. There we go. Yeah, he was a buster. There we go. <laughs> Took the Griffith. Pretty fish. Ah. Oh, there's a nice one. Spooked him though. Damn water's so clear. Huh. Damn trout came charging me from them rapids. Oh, there's more of them swimming upstream. What the hell? Where are they coming from? Crazy. And what is that? Is that a trout? Is that a trout on a bed? I'll be darned. Huh. I'll let I'll leave her to the bed. As soon as my shadow hits that, everything's going to spook. A lot of trout on beds. Gosh, all over the place. I want to hit the surface down there. All these trout are all on beds. They're, uh, not feeding. Oh, missed him. Ah, got him that time. <laughs> All right. You got some moss on you there, buddy. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty fish. There we go. <laughs> no sooner did I say that than I hook one. God, these fish are beautiful. Uh, uh, I fished way downstream. 
My old knee's starting to hurt. Head back up this way and see how Bill's doing. Uh, I think I caught five. Oh, hell of a deal. I thought I caught one. I lost two that I got hooked into that were nice, and one of them I think went 13, 14 inches. Yeah. And I've seen a bunch of trout on beds. There's a whole bunch right in there, actually, on bed. But I'll tell you, you get one strike and then they're, they settle down. I, uh, I had a an explosion strike and of course I hand handed it and snapped it right off right and then uh, that was with caddis and then I switched again to caddis and, uh, and four or five casts later boom I caught and that was 10 incher and oh, I swear he looked like a cutthroat he was so oh, oh yeah they're beautiful I've been using this Griffith gnat on the tail end of the caddis, and I only caught one on the caddis. The Griffith gnat caught all the rest. Well, it was a good day, but I tell you what, we, we are beat to death. <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> but I always am. Now, after walking a mile or two up the creek and then up that darn hill, man. But anyway, we caught some fish. It was a beautiful day. Water was low and clear. The only trouble was it was because it was low and clear, the fish were real spooky. It was, it was hard to get up on them and we're too old to get down on our hands and knees and creep up on them. So we do the best we can. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.